Hi, internet, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. What is up? I am Positively Udo back at it again with another video. I'm back at it again with another video. And today I want to talk about intermittent fasting. Just to share my experience as somebody who's been doing it for over 20 years. Okay, uh, but before I get into that, make sure that you hit the subscribe button because I think I think a lot of the people that are watching me, I think you are fellow immigrants, and if you're an immigrant, you understand the cruciality of making sure that you put yourself in a position that you can pursue your happiness with yourself and your family. So my whole channel is about exploring the ways to live our best lives. If you're into that. Then join the tribe, join the squad, and hit subscribe. So intermittent fasting is basically if you um, don't eat for more than 10 hours every day. And so a lot of people are actually intermittent fasting without knowing it. You know, are you the kind of person that you get, you know, seven to eight hours of sleep every day and then you don't eat breakfast and your first meal is lunch around like 1 p.m.? You're intermittent fasting. And so I've been doing that for over 20 years and not intentionally just because I'm a lazy bum. And do I get the benefits that they say you're supposed to get with intermittent fasting? Um, It's a big, it's a big no. Okay. My skin, anything with my skin being better is genetic. My nails suck. That's why I have next gen. My hair pisses me off. That's why I hide it. And this is not my real hair. Um, I mean, I am, I have a decent figure. I think that's also genetic. There's not a lot of obese people in my family. Yeah, there's not, there's not many of us that are overweight that when we're young, I don't think anybody in my family, other than my little brother, bless your heart, has been overweight under the age of 30. And that, I think that's just genetic. Um, mental clarity. You're supposed to have mental clarity. Fasting. <laughs> Tell that to somebody with attention deficit disorder. <laughs> no. In fact, when I don't eat, I feel I have more mental health problems when I, when I fast. I, I feel more overwhelmed. I feel more depressed. I, I have... M I need to not do intermittent fasting anymore, like for my mental health. That is how bad it is. That is how opposite of mental clarity it is for me. Um, what else did they say? I think those are the major things. And, you know, some people believe you absorb more nutrients and it helps you to like have regular bowel movements and stuff like that. Absolutely not. No, it does not work that way for me at all at all what works for me is eating regular meals regular snacks regular meals that are that have a variety of food groups so when i was working in the eating disorder clinic um they needed us to model healthy eating behaviors so we had to actually eat all the time so that the girls would see us doing it and feel more comfortable doing it themselves so i would have breakfast snack lunch snack dinner and late night snack. Um, sometimes, some people, sometimes you get a late snack. Um, and that was amazing. I drank so much more water. I was so much more hydrated. My, I was more regular. I had more mental focus. I was happier. I felt warm and fuzzy inside. I was so happy. Like, ask, ask anybody who was good friends with me during that time I was working there. Just ask them. And they'll be like, yeah, I had never seen Yudoka so happy. <laughs> I was so just happy for no reason. <sighs> so I want to get back to that again. So my two cents on intermittent fasting is that it's complete BS for me and my body and my mind. Um, and as a dietitian, my professional opinion on intermittent fasting is something that you should not do long term. Um, because especially as we get old, oops, don't want to mess that up. So especially as we get older, 
uh, we have more issues, more health issues, like especially like something like diabetes. You don't want to be doing intermittent fasting. You want to have your blood sugar as level as possible. And that's probably why it doesn't make me, it doesn't work for me. Probably my blood sugar is all over the place. And that's really not healthy for somebody with any form of depression or attention deficit disorder that you don't want your blood your blood sugar doing this you want your blood sugar doing this which is probably why when i was eating consistently and eating a variety of foods so that means i was getting lots of protein fats and carbs a good mixture um, which helps stabilize your blood sugar um, getting a lot of minerals as well because i was eating nuts and seeds um, and fruits and vegetables uh, so I was getting antioxidants, I was getting electrolytes, I was getting minerals that the average person doesn't get because the average person doesn't have a variety of foods that they eat. They probably have like, you know, their go-tos that they eat every day and that's it. And it's not like a variety, like I'm, like I'm sure most people are not eating beans on a regular basis, you know, unless you're, you know, Mexicano, and that's it's the para tu cultura, or something part of your culture. But if it's not a part of your culture, if you're just like a normal American, you're not eating beans, you're not eating nuts on a regular basis, you're not eating seeds, you know, unless unless you grow up in Dixie South and everybody eats sunflower seeds, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know why I'm having these really dumb bad accents. <laughs> But you get what I'm saying? Like people eat what's cultural to them. Um, and I, I don't know our culture where eating a variety of foods is a part of the culture. You just kind of have to, you just kind of have to work on it. And that's something that I'm working on because I want to get back to that. I want to get back to being happy naturally and feeling energized and not losing my mind. So let me know if you have ever experimented with intermittent fasting or if you learned that you've been doing it all this while. Is it something that's working for you or something that you need to change? I want to know because it'll be really interesting. Then I can make more videos. Ooh, if you want to see more nutrition videos, we can get more of that. But only if you leave a comment and only if you like this video so I know that you liked it. Thanks for watching my opinion. Share this with somebody who you think needs to see it. Maybe it's somebody who swears by intermittent fasting, but it's not working for them. So they just need to hear somebody else say, it didn't work for me either, honey. Don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. Don't feel bad when a fat diet doesn't work for you. Okay, honey? We just need to go back to the big six. So my video is over, but our relationship, this thing between you and me, that's not over. Like, not only can you leave a comment, not only can you like the video, but not only can you subscribe, but you can, like, go ahead and watch my other videos. I have a ton of other videos. They're not as high quality as I would like. We're working on that. But I think there's something that you might enjoy. So just click my channel, check out my other videos. Until next time, guys, much love, much luck. Ah! Almost dropped it. Peace out.